Right, uh, what's on the bench? It's a new acquisition. Uh, I've wanted one of these for quite some time. Back in the mid 80s when I was being a real engineer, um, I had one of these on my bench at WaveTech and I used it all the time. Um, and I, I really liked it because it was super, super fast and easy to use. Uh, so it's a voltage calibrator. And so uh, it's got plus and minus and uh, it's got these nice switches. So these switches are very easy to set. There's a long, uh, there's a long uh, lever and a short throw. So it's like a, like a Hurst shifter. It's really, really easy to shift these, shift these things from, from, from zero to nine. So it was very easy to set numbers. It was quite accurate. Um, so, you know, it's got, uh, it goes plus and minus 19 volts. So, um, so this would be one, one volt. So it's out here at millivolts, but then it's got this vernier that goes out to a tenth of millivolts. So yeah, it's looking pretty good, the input in uh, ground, or the, I mean the output in ground. And then it's got some uh, overcurrent protection. So if you're in overload, pull too much current out of it. Now, um, I think may, maybe a lot of people have seen these with the name Daytel on them, D-A-T-E-L. Daytel made these forever. Um, and uh, Daytel had a division I guess you'd call it a division that made these calibrators. It was sort of separate. Daytel was doing ADDs and some other things. And th there was a separate group that made these calibrators. And um, sometime not too long ago, uh, well, not too long ago, I think in the 2000s, um, it split off. So Daytel got rid of that division and they went private. Um, I think Daytel was a private company as well. And then uh, they, they went detail. So it's very, very difficult to find any, if you're a private company, you don't have to disclose anything. So it's very difficult to find information about these things. But the new company is called Calibrators Inc. Um, and so uh, I've been looking at these for quite some time. They generally go, you know, in the $800,000 range. Um, they, I, they ain't cheap. And um, so uh, this one was $250. So thanks to my patrons who uh, support the channel and allow me to allow me to buy things. Um, so yeah, two hundred fifty dollars, and I knew this was a, a new unit. I mean, a, a newer unit because it had this name on it, right? So it's not an old crusty one that's been rattling around in the back of a truck. Um, and uh, when I got it, oh my goodness, it looks brand new. I mean, it is nice and shiny, and uh, everything about it looks looks brand new. So I'm I'm quite pleased about that. I always worry about these little. Uh, little tabs breaking off, but they do seem to be pretty robust. Um, so I think, um, let's see, let's take a look at the, at the top of it here. So it was, uh, I guess an asset of cardiac assistant, uh, cardiac assist.inc. So raise your hand if you know who they are. Um, uh, calibration not required. Output must be verified with a fluke. 8060 or equivalent. I'm not sure if that's a five and a half digit or six and a half digit. I'm not quite sure. Um, in the back, uh, the power cord is permanently attached. Uh, here's the, here's the uh, serial number Oxford Road in Mansfield, Massachusetts. Um, and then there's uh, the PC board kind of sticks out the back with some gold plating on it. So there's the sense and the common and the out and the sense. So the uh, it, you can have a four wire connection to this thing, uh, but it has little jumper blocks on it already. So it's, it's kind of nailed down to the, to the box here, but you can bring those out and be more accurate in your setup. My gardener is blowing the leaves outside. And there's a bale underneath. All right, let's uh, hook it up to a voltmeter. See if it does anything. Uh, hook it up to my, uh, HP 34401 and uh, I have it set to 5 volts and it's uh, 4.99999. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, 6 volts. A little bit off. 7 volts. 8 volts. Ooh, very nice. 9 volts. Very nice. Let's go to 10. And 
And uh, let's go to its maximum here. 19, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. That should be 20. There we go. Very, 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 very good. All right, if I do the minus, perfect. <laughs> so yeah, this thing's working great. So I got a good one. I definitely got a good one. Let's take a look at the data sheet. All right, a recent data sheet from Calibrators Inc. Um, high precision voltage source, um, 25 ppm, 0.005% uh, of full range, uh, 25 milliamps output, vernier control, that's the extra one on the end there. Uh, yeah, calibration traceable to NIST. It has a, an LM399 in it for the voltage standards. So if, once these things are calibrated, they would hold their calibration very, very well. Uh, low cost, four and a half digit voltage reference. So yeah, looking pretty good. Let's uh, see if there's some specs in here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, let's see here, capacitance, accuracy. Uh, warm up five minutes. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, clarity, yada, 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 yada. Yeah, looks pretty nice. So let's see here. Let's, let's try to read their accuracy. A lot of times those accuracy numbers are a bit funny. So accuracy at 25C, um, within plus or minus 25 ppm of the setting, plus or minus 500 microvolts when calibrated. Um, plus or minus, so, I, uh, I don't know if these are the same or they're, they add. Let's see here, within plus or minus 500 calibrated full scale. So it's plus or minus 0.5 millivolts. So that's the last digit. So whatever you set it to, it should be within plus and minus half of that. And it was from what I saw up there. Yeah. So there you go. Um, this is going to be a uh, really, really nice instrument to, to add to the uh, add to the collection here. Uh, just because it's not, I do have some fancy ones up there, but they're kind of way up there and they're kind of hard to get to. Um, and you know, I mean, I could use that one, but I've always liked these and wanted one of these. And so now I've got one. Um, and uh, in the next video, I think we're going to use it. So uh, stay tuned for the next video.